This is the video review for Transformers Headmaster Scorponok. Um, here he is in base mode. Um, see, so he's got the towers, little claw thing here. Um, not really poseable in this mode. He's just he's got the antenna, and he does have a little working crane, or lift you know, lift arm over here, and a couple little repair arms over on this side. And these two can be switched. You can plug those into either side. Um, got little flip opening uh, missile launchers here. Um, I've got his main gun stored under here and back here on the thing. Um, and of course here's Zarek um, guarding the base. Um, there's a neat little feature, this little ramp here. Uh, you can launch fast track on it. There's a little button back here that when you push it forward it causes fast track to roll forward and down off the ramp. Um, but he is pretty much a city. There's not a whole lot more to him than that. Uh, but he does have a couple other very awesome modes. Go ahead and pull him off of there. Um, fast track opens up and rotates around. And he's a robot. You can also pull these little guns out if you want them. But I just find that really easy to get lost that way. So I just leave them in his hands. We'll go ahead and close the missile pods. And you pull the arms out of there and the crane out of there. You just set those off to the side. And pull off the antenna. Again, off to the side. And I'm going to pull this and this off, and these combine to uh, make Scorpinox gun, which again, off to the side. I pull this tower and open it up. Um, that'll be a kind of melee weapon, shield, and robot mode, but we'll get to that again. Um, you pull these towers off right here, and these are going to attach right here to the fronts of what will become the legs. I'll go ahead and flip these up, and then take this piece and flip it forward and closed. From here, you want to pull this piece down. And these pieces rotate like this and fold in half. And we'll put it around and down. Fold in half. Now, this piece has a couple, a couple holes here. And then these tabs are going to plug into them. Like that. And flip the tail up. And then the stinger out of the tail. I'll rotate these around to be facing forward. And then go ahead and pull these off. And then the arms come down. I guess you didn't pull these off. My apologies. Leave those on right there. For some reason, I thought I was going to be rotating them the other way. The gun's on there. I usually lift this up and. Set it up, and um, then you can take Zarek, and Zarek can sit in the chest cockpit here, and then you have him in scorpion mode. And again, not a whole lot of useful articulation. He does have the claws, and they can open and close. Arms can move, and then the guns. I mean, it is neat that as you roll him, his legs will, will move. As he rolls along, but aside from that, there you go, there's a little better view of it. And there he is, Scorpionok, um, as his name would imply, giant scorpion. And then um, from here, flip this down and under. Just want to basically stand the whole thing kind of up. Pull this around, and it's going to rotate. You're actually going to flip this around this way, and this tab is going to go here on his back. Just snap it in like that. Uh, flip the legs down and the feet out. And snap them in place. I'm going to pull the guns off the back here. Adjust the camera a little bit. There we go. 
legs fold back. And legs fold back. And arms fold down. I usually pull the guns to kind of sit at an angle. Helmet pops off. I usually leave it on backwards for scorpion mode. I think it looks more like a scorpion head this way than with the uh, visor facing front. And you can just put that in there. There's little tabs here on the front you can pinch to remove it or to help it squeeze in there a little bit better. Um, the melee shield I talked about earlier. And attach it onto his arm. Um, I usually just also get Zarek out of here. I usually take these little antennas and I just store them here in his chest. Just a nice way to place to keep him in robot mode that doesn't uh, have him lying loose or getting lost or rolling off the table just like that. Yeah. So you get the idea. Usually I take the time to arrange them in there. They will all fit. Just fast track on the gun again. You can take into this hand like that. Then you take Zarek. You want to basically fold him in half and flip this panel up, and he forms a Scorponox head. As you can see, when you plug it in, the power meters go up. He's not really fast, but he's really strong and really intelligent. Um, pull the chest panel up, then the helmet flips forward, the face shield flips down, and you can pull the antenna however you wish. And there is Scorponox in robot mode. I mean, he's very cool. Um, I do. I, I love the slash master concept headmasters target masters power masters um, i think they're really cool and uh scorponok is the decepticon leader of the headmasters um, he was leader of the decepticons for a while in the comic and he is um quite quite large um here he is next to uh, just to get an idea here he is with omega supreme and as you can see he's actually a big big figure I mean, he actually was, I believe, of the American release figures, I'm pretty sure Scorponok was the biggest Decepticon ever released. Um, I know if you go expand past Generation 1 or American release figures, I know Overlord is actually just a smidge, if you have Overlord, he's just a smidge taller than Scorponok. Um, so he's not the biggest Decepticon released ever, um, but in America he, he was the biggest Decepticon that was released. And on a uh, more humorous note, I did mention that uh, he was a headmaster. And if you want, actually, I'm giving it away there. You can pop this off. And the Zarak on headmaster from animated will, in fact, sit right on top of him. It takes some balancing to do it. Actually, we'll actually have to take that back. What I usually do is you can put his feet up to help support headmaster up here. And again, there's some fiddling to be done with it, but there you go. And <laughs> there's Headmaster on Scorponok. It's back on. And head. There he is. Um, very cool. Very awesome. Headmaster Scorponok. I want to thank uh, Ken M2474 on TFW for selling him to me at a very nice price um, for a complete Scorponok in this condition. Um, very cool. Aside from some a small amount of chrome wear on these little shields here, he was in very excellent condition. I'm very happy to have him. Uh, Transformers Headmasters Scorponok. <laughs>